Continue to read, though. <clears throat> A prophecy, uh, Ezekiel chapter 28, a prophecy against the king of Tyre. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, say to the ruler of Tyre, this is what the sovereign Lord says. In the pride of your heart, you say, I am a God. I sit on the throne of a God in the heart of the seas, but you are a man and not a God. Though you think you are as wise as a God, are you wiser than Daniel? Is no secret hidden from you. By your wisdom and understanding, you have gained wealth for yourself and amassed gold and silver in your treasuries. By your great skill in trading, you have increased your wealth, and because of your wealth, your heart has grown proud. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because you think you are wise, as wise as a god, I am going to bring foreigners against you the most ruthless of nations. They will draw their swords against your beauty and wisdom and pierce your shining splendor. They will bring, down, they will bring you down to the pit and you will die a violent death in the heart of the seas. Will you then say, I am a god, in the presence of those who kill you? You will be, put, you will be but a man, not a god, in the hands of those who slay you. You will die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. I have spoken, declares the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, take up a lament concerning the king of Tyre and say to him, this is what the sovereign Lord says. You are the model of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You are in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorn you, rubies, topaz, and emerald, chrysolite, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and beryl. Your settings and mountings were made of gold. On the day you were created, they were prepared. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You walked among the fiery stones. I'm going to do just a quick pause here. Okay, so Tyre, <clears throat> uh, take note of all of this. Take note of all of this. This is a prophecy upon a prophecy. He's also speaking about not just Tyre. He's t speaking about someone else, and we'll get back to it. So let's continue to read. Um, you were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence, and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God, and I expelled you, O guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth. I made a spectacle of you before kings. By your many sins and dishonest trade, you have desecrated your sanctuaries. So I made a fire come out from you, and it consumed you. And I reduced you to ashes on the ground, in the sight of all who were watching. All the nations who knew you are appalled at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more. Okay, so this first part of chapter 28, is, and I have mentioned this before in a previous Bible study. Okay, so <clears throat> Tyre, in, particularly the king of Tyre, is um, Bible scholars and um, preachers and uh, people um, that have... Uh, Bible scholars and studies um, believe that this is a <clears throat> this is a description not only of the king of Tyre but it's also the devil okay so listen to what Ezekiel is saying and what he's for because this is a prophecy not only of Tyre and the description of but every but a lot of everything a lot, a lot of everything a lot of things that he's saying is not only talking about Tyre, which is in the king of Tyre, but he's also talking about the devil, Lucifer. Listen to what he says, okay? <clears throat> the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, take up a lament concerning the king of Tyre and say to uh, him, this is what the sovereign Lord says. You were the model of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Pause. So when Lu Lucifer was created, he was created as beautiful um, angel, beautiful cherub. And then he 
let's continue. Every precious stone adorn you, ruby, topaz, and emerald, chrysolite, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and beryl. Your settings and mountings were made of gold. On the day you were created, they were prepared. Um, you were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. Because remember, the Lord creates. The Lord allowed for the king of Tyre to gain his wealth as well. Uh, but he also created um, this person, Lucifer. And you were on the holy mount of God, you walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways for the, from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Lucifer was so full of wisdom, was not necessarily just, with, but he was so prideful. He was full of pride, and, which became arrogance, conceitedness, and also jealousy. Jealousy of the one who created him because he wanted to be worshipped. So was King of Tyre. Tyre was a person, a, a human, you know. But when people gain vast amount of wealth and power, they start to believe that they're a little bit more. That there's something just a little bit more about them. Sound familiar? I know, right? <laughs> they get extremely prideful, arrogant, and conceited. They get uh, very uh, into themselves, um, so narcissistic. They can get that way as well. Um, or they are that way because they believe that they are more. Their thought, everything is perfect. Everything they do benefits them. <clears throat> and so that's what this, and it's not for love of others. They could care less. Tyre could care less what was going on with even the people in his country, even the people in his nation. As long as he was getting the wealth, the glory, and the fame, that's all he cared about, including to the point of worship. So comparison. The Lord is talking about Tyre at the same time he's prophesying through Ezekiel about the devil. Then he goes on to say, um, so I made a fire come out from you and it consumed you and it and I reduced you to ashes on the ground in the sight of all who were watching. All the nations who knew you are appalled at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more. So he's talking about the consequences slash punishment for Tyre and how they ruled. But he's also talking about the consequences and the punishment coming for that prideful, arrogant person called the devil. So bringing past to present, what we can see here is that the inspirations for doing, for having greed, uh, envy, jealousy, all of those things, those wickedness, sin, those, I mean, reflect the, the, the devil. The devil may have had a role into those things, too. Um, telling, telling us, telling a person how wonderful they are, they could make no mistake, telling someone to do whatever it takes to get what they want at all costs, no matter what it does to someone else or others. Um, it's all about self. It's all about self-praise, self-pride. And so what that leads to is complete destruction, complete and utter destruction, because it shows hate, shows greed. It shows all of that wickedness. And it sh does not show love. It's the complete opposite. And so what we can see here is we can see a guidance here, a separation, a separation of what is wicked what, and what happens when there is wickedness, complete devastation and destruction compared to what is good, what is right, what is just, what is holy. And that is our Lord and Savior. Now, we have guidance here. We have guidance here uh, directly from the Lord through, through Ezekiel, amen and hallelujah. Before we go on though, because there is so much here um, that I wanna go through, um, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?